Tara Faris was shot dead while in her car by an unknown gunman in Baghdad last week. She was just visiting. She had already moved to the more liberal Erbil after a deluge of insults online over her perceived lack of modesty. She was an Instagram influencer, posting pictures like this, showing off her tattoos. In the days since her death, videos of the incident have been swirling online, some accompanied with tributes and some with support for her killer. But she wasn't the first outspoken woman to be killed in Iraq recently. Human rights activist Suad al-Ali was shot in a market in Basra just two days before Faris was killed. And in August, plastic surgeon Rafif al Yasiri and beauty centre owner Rasha al-Hassan were both found dead in their homes in what's been described as suspicious circumstances. I am very concerned and very saddened and scared and afraid and worried about the state of Iraqi women given the recent assassinations of women only in the last week, if not in the last month. There are women being attacked for simply talking about against corruption women being killed for simply showing themselves not in an inappropriate way and within the framework of our culture. There are women who are being shunned in fake videos as they run for parliamentary elections. Now, former Miss Iraq Shaima Qasim says she fears for her life and may leave the country after being told you'll be next. For many young Iraqi women, these death threats are being seen as a way to silence rebellious voices. Misogyny and attempts to control women and exclude us from the public sphere continue to reign supreme, with the assassination of four high-profile Iraqi women over the past few weeks and death threats sent to Shaima Qasem. And some Iraqi men have taken to Twitter to express support. Everyone who makes an excuse for the killing of a girl who wanted to live her life just like every other person in the world is a partner in her murder. Everyone who's happy that she was killed because she presented herself as someone who lives life is a partner in her killing. Mercy and eternal life to the soul of Tara Faris. Iraqi Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi has ordered an investigation into the deaths. As people online speculate, the crimes might even be a coordinated attack on Iraqi women. It's a witch hunt against women. We really, really need to give some freedom and space for women to breathe so they can contribute to the society and not suffocating them, oppress them and kill them, right?